junk and poo over here in Portville. Well, I keep uh, losing my video, so I'm trying again. I'm trying to get the SD card activated as my primary storage source. And apparently, apparently, I haven't figured it out yet. See some deer over there, but I don't think I can get them in the video. Hey, Don. Don wears his sunglasses at night. That's why I had the torches heat up the transmission line with a hook to the radiator. A little dark out there. I can't see that. So I guess tomorrow I start pulling this apart and I would almost guarantee you that that timing chain has got to be really loose. I see one guy is watching a video thinking how they get them out. I actually had to jack this up and get the radiator out from underneath. And he was pulling the grill. I don't really see where you get. Actually he pulled his out from underneath too. But for doing the timing, guy okay, might want to try that. I don't know if this video is going to go through. If it don't, it might kick off on me. So, so yeah, I'm going to come out tomorrow and get the alternator out of the way, the power steering, and the water pump. Pull the harmonic balance off. If it ain't raining, I'm going to see if I can get this. I was going to wait and do it another time but maybe I can get it done so yeah I usually like if I'm messing around with this I usually check the bearings like in the alternator make sure they're good and the same with the water pump which they all feel good that power steering was working good so I assume that one's good so I'll get out here and get it apart tomorrow. I'm just experimenting with my video again. So, yeah, I don't know. I guess there's probably a way to turn the light on these things. Yeah, the radiator. Hopefully I can get it back in there. It needs to be flushed out. That sure is a tight fit, though. The fan has got a... down here. I'll put a big old spacer in there. Yeah, you can't really see it. So it's awful close to the radiator by the time you get that thing off it come out of there it'll go back hopefully yeah I want this thing so it'll pop a wheelie well that might be a little overkill yeah so it's about seven o'clock over here in Portville um, these training lines I was afraid I was going to break them off, so I had to put just a little bit of heat on it because it was brass over steel. That one I got, but this one was pretty stubborn, but I got it. Right there is what I'm talking about. Looks like it scraped a little bit there, but I don't think it did any damage. I may pressure test it. I like to keep the copper when I don't really want to put them... Aluminum ones then. Guy at the radiator shop told me if you run them aluminum ones, you got to run uh, a lower pressure cap because he said they don't they don't hold up. Same guy didn't want to uh, patch one on my Ford truck. So what I'm gonna do tomorrow? I don't drop that. We got this covered up so no critters get into. A little bit of antifreeze here. I'm going to pour this actually in my in my Dodge. It's good looking antifreeze. I mean in my Ford to $500 dump truck because I'm running pure water in that. I'm going to start by getting this out of here. In case it takes me a while to get this back together. I won't be tripping on it. So I think we might have this video going. We'll see when I go to... It usually kicks off saying uh, storage space is filled that I keep going through then trying to delete it. But I bought a big old SD card and put in here and I don't even think it's activated so we'll see 
just doing a quick little video testing the camera and I'm actually getting to working on the motor home a little bit again trying to get it apart and got some other stuff I want to do to it a little later over here hey thanks for stopping by Portville don't ever give up on your projects unless you want to goodbye now